Good morning, everyone. All around the world, I'm gonna have my morning coffee, which is already 12:30 afternoon. It's still kind of early for me. Mm. If I tell you I wake up today after 10, that would be bad. I went to bed really, really late because I was shooting my other video and um, you probably already saw that one mandala, mandala the partial beautiful square uh, drill that we did together and I want to finish this one this is my last one I think that I have and this is, was my very first one partial diamond painting I asked uh, my friends in my Facebook group and please join if you're not in my group yet. It's diamond painting for all ages. And, and I really, really love this girl. And I ask um, for suggestions. And lots of you say that yes, I should get it. Because it is, looks really beautiful when it's finished. Um, so yes, I have here prepared my containers that I bought at the dollar store the other day. You saw me showing my little bit shopping haul actually got some more stuff from dollar store yesterday but first I want to show you guys um, lots of people asking me where I got this cute adorable watermelon pen so I'm gonna show you uh, Instagram page here's my Canadian friend she's okay hold on let me just zoom close to the table so we don't lose the light kinda um, this kind of looks dark. Less creation to glow. Here it is. And she's making so many beautiful uh, pens. And if you click, you can see in here. Here is my watermelon right there. And they have a in different colors as a melon. And there's a blue, different marbling. I think she's doing a great, great job. And um, same name, she has a store on Etsy. It's www.lesscreationdeglow.etsy.com. So please visit. And that's what I got from her as a gift. Thank you so much. I love it. And I'm using very, very, very often. So we done with this. And now... Before I start my organizing beads, I want to even up a little bit because after I unbox this diamond painting, I still um, went and rolled back and put in my organizer because I didn't have room to put flat. And there's, uh, yeah, there's some wiggle line in the canvas itself which kind of light waves not very pressed but I don't know if this is going to be visible or not when I frame it but for now I'm just I want to work on it and this is my last one partials as I'm not really loving it partials diamond painting but this girls I really I really love this girl and for those of you who didn't see my video uh, here is the one that I was talking about here is the other one partial that I already done and it's absolutely gorgeous you have to see this diamond painting outside I did shoot video so check it out my other video about this really beautiful this um, let me zoom close to the canvas there look how pretty those white pearls would make this diamond painting pop and on a dark black background is really looking good and stand out all right so now let's um, see what we can do with this one I'm gonna put this aside And I'm just gonna leave it this one in here. I'm gonna put my phone so it doesn't 
fall um okay so i'm gonna use i have only eight colors for this one the other one a few of them already in a ziplock bag um just the two colors actually in a ziplock bag and the rest that we're gonna organize with you together um i like to <clears throat> have hold on guys i need a coffee and my puppy wandering around <clears throat> okay we're gonna start from beginning and let me just show you one more time what kind of gems in here this one iridescent so is red one and green same one very beautiful colors and this color is my favorite this is definitely peacock color purple and blue they all special gems so that's why I was kind of excited when I got this one, even though I don't really like the partial, but I hope it will work good for me. So I will do, I will cut in here, put my beads hopefully straight into container. I don't know if they are static or not yet, if I'm going to make a mess. Okay, it looks like all went good in the jar. You might have to let's zoom a little bit close. And then I'm just gonna cut it out for now, number like so. And I'm just gonna put the number inside of this jar. Well, it's not jar, tube, probably, properly way to say and number two today is sunday when i record this video and i really look forward to the weekdays because that's the possibility that i could receive some package that i'm waiting and I, I do have some of them uh, tracking number, but I don't like to follow number. I don't want to, you know, like wait and I just like to be surprised, go to the mailbox and like, boom, it's there. Uh, some packages delivered to the door because need a signature, but most of them go to the mailbox or my mailman bring it to me to my door i have awesome guy who bring it to me if i have some big package he always bring me my personal mail as well so i don't have to go to the mailbox they are awesome eh? Some people in my videos asking me that my accent is really heavy if I'm Russian or not where I'm from no I'm Ukrainian who live in Canada I have two country homes that I love the bits okay. 
four more colors to put and then we can place some of them together with you. Lots of green, definitely, because it go lots on her dress. Oh, motorcycle. Or oh, it's a car across the street. It's gonna be a little loud, guys. Warn you. No, that's like a um, neighbor's across the street. They have this old fashioned looking car. And they are like to go for a cruise, him and her together, older couple. So when they start that car, make lots of noises. First, I always think it's a motorcycle because a little bit more further in the street, there's a, a gentleman who love to go cruise on a motorcycle, Harley Davidson, that one loud as well. Okay, these beads are so beautiful. I'm just gonna start to work with this color just to show you, or maybe we're just gonna start like from number one and go up. Okay, one is a step, okay, got it. also into the mix to this video um, yesterday when my little girl was swimming in a pool I took my <clears throat> cross stitching by dimensions really popular uh, name if of course if you are cross stitching lover you probably hear this name not one time so what I did um, I count my pictures stitches so I separate already um, I count by the needle so this is going to be my first stitch will start in here and usually I like to start from the corner and go or this way or up so this is going to be my beginning um, I just wish this picture was a little bit bigger but if this is corner there will be somewhere to here corner and somewhere like in here so it's not gonna be very big picture uh, but I already prepared myself I counted I read the paper to check it out what kind of stitches need to be done there has a um, one stitch and back stitches and double stitch so even French knots so we'll work together as well if you like so if you want me to cross stitch with you together a little bit guys, if some of you love cross stitching, please tell me in the comments. Um, usually it's kind of difficult probably will be to cross stitch on the camera, but if you want me, uh, I know some of you lady was asking me to do some tutorial on a cross stitching and uh, I would do that, but I like to do the simple stitching not really much the one that has to be back around absolutely perfect uh, because in my opinion I'm gonna cross stitch for myself and when I frame nobody gonna see what's going on in the back but um, yeah but still I will try to make as neat as possible so it's not very very messy escape one
because this is AB colors, the best thing is to do to work AB diamonds with the tweezers, guys, because they are taking away wax so easily that with tweezers it's kind of faster to even work instead of fight with the wax all the time, refill it, get not sticky because the foil would stick to the pan. Um, and I'm just gonna answer question in here. Uh, somebody on Facebook, I hope you watching this video today, um, ask me where I got this tweezers. Okay, this one, they are really, really thin and work so good. So the first um, I have in that I have them from long long time ago uh, similar one exact I would say the same one uh, from Huacan when I used to buy my first pack of like a six diamond paintings and each diamond painting um, I think they still probably do uh, sell their diamond paintings with the tweezers then I know the um, Forever moments, I think, uh, have the uh, same kind with their kids. And then um, I am a brand ambassador from Dreamer Design. So every kit, if you purchase, you will have these tweezers in their diamond paintings as well. But also, if you want, I can find a link for you on AliExpress directly where you can buy just. Um, there's lots of different kind of these tweezers. I have some uh, straight, a little bit kind of like, um, like bend it a little bit, so you don't have to hold the hand like straight. You can do um, more horizontally, but tip will be curled up a little bit. Uh, but I don't know. I really love this one. They are the best in market. This kind of tweezers. So that's where I got them from companies that I work and from companies that I purchased diamond painting long time ago. Okay, so now I'm not gonna need, or maybe, you know, I'm just gonna find some other organizer. I'm not gonna use this bag again. Let's see. Should we start? And I just like the way it's, you know, you can place them gorgeous. Just stand up like this. So let me prepare and find which which one side I want to work on, or maybe we're just gonna start like right from the top in here, or from number one. I don't know. Number one is white, so it's not much fun for you to watch, right? Um, what's the number six? Number six is this triangle. Okay, so that's the one in her dress, red colors in here. Those um, gems that I really, really like. So maybe we can start from them, I don't know. Okay, let me figure out. Let me uh, pause a little bit and I will be right back. I decided to start with this beautiful gem that is my favorite. Oh my God, I love them. Um, you know what I think if I would have choice for example if I have a black background and the same picture that lots of lots of black colors I would switch to this one color to make as a background for the black so beautiful so we will start with this and it's a number six so we're not gonna start from number one I wanna start from prettiest diamonds and I'm gonna use tweezers for this one because I'm not gonna fight with the foil. Uh, tweezers work really good as well to with the round beads, guys. If you didn't try, please do so. It's actually even fun to work. And I hope you have a good view. I feel like it's a little bit dark. It's very cloudy today. I was gonna shoot some sparkle video outside, but I don't know if it's gonna be ideal for today or not. Now we have a 
uh, rained twice already in two days but it's still really hot and I feel like it's gonna be more rain probably today it was big lightning like a heat lightning was yesterday not much of the thunder but was lightning crazy and I am weather <laughs> uh, how would you say um, storm chaser I love this kind of weather I like to photograph or take a videos but we were driving with my husband in the car and I tried to do a video of this lightning but through the glass window when it was raining it wasn't that great so I deleted but yeah I'm the one who can go in crazy weather and try to record video even I know it's dangerous because uh, in many occasions when people record video of the thunder and lightning on cell phone the lightning can strike in your cell phone because of the electricity going through um, so that's kind of dangerous thing but I always kind of go through extreme and not to think about danger because it's something I like to do okay oh look how beautiful already oh my I love this diamonds this particular color so beautiful and I think I would call this color peacock color I don't know what else you could call them it's like multicolor in one. Beautiful. So I thank you for those who recommended this diamond painting for me because that was my first order for the partial but to be honest I still prefer full drill but my favorite so far have to be this one square mandala that I just showed you this is definitely I would say even better than butterfly that I did before so now I have to wait and see if I like this peacock girl better than the square design of the mandala I don't know so far I like those pearls up there but the other one I definitely recommend and I do recommend because they all this partial came from the same company guys and I do recommend them because I finish many of them and I never have problems yet they all have poor glue on which is really important your glue uh, will never fail you you know it doesn't have uh, any air bubbles and really really smooth pour like it work really easy it doesn't have a uh, creases in the glue so obviously don't have uh, air bubbles as well and uh, that's the something that you can find really frustrating when you have canvas that you love and I do many of them like this and then you realize this air bubbles such a big pain to fix and they create pop and drills as well you can lift it up a whole row of your diamonds if you don't fix it properly and it's not always easy to fix so that's why I still kind of stick uh, with this company and I like I like the quality of their diamond paintings and I don't think they are expensive it's really good prices as well Right now I'm enjoying with this drill same as I was enjoying with my pearl 
petals on this on the other one. Ah, oh, so beautiful color. I don't think camera can exp like show you that the true beauty of this diamonds they probably can be good as well to place them on design to design nails we will fit my kind of this design oopsie for my nails yeah anyway if they are left over I might will create something from my nails and see if they are gonna fade or not because some I tried before uh, AB diamonds I put them on my nails and few hours later they just was like a regular glass the AB spark disappear and that's why because they wasn't glass gems uh, just a pretty plastic painted not plastic resin so yeah not not always work as you wish It's fun for me to work with this diamonds, but it looks really black for you guys. Oh, I don't like that. I want you to see the sparkle. Let's see if I can zoom a little bit more or not. Probably not. Oh. I don't know. You, you don't see really the color as it is. And I'm apologize for that. If you are on Instagram, please come join me on Instagram. Natalia Simpson Natalia Oh no, that was the other one my Instagram for the beauty my Instagram for the craft channel is uh, same thing love craft forever x o hugs and kisses I have a few more of the diamond painting that has special gems and one of them from same company as this girl so I'm gonna work maybe on that one after I finish this little lady in between with cross stitching and Beading. I just like to do everything. Oopsie. One bit jump. When I outside, I don't take outside my diamond painting, guys, because I'm afraid that dust will land and ruin my glue. So when I outside, I can cross stitch no problem. So while my kids swimming. I can cross stitch and talk to them. And my little girl like to show me some aerobics in the water. She's like a fish in the sea. She's a mermaid. She learned how to swim underwater before she learned how to swim on the top. 
so that's really good as a mother I feel always safe when she learn how to swim underwater Okay, I think I'm gonna close this canvas from this side because it's getting far away and I'm gonna flip upside down or in this example I can no let's do upside down that way probably gonna be easier Okay. And I'm just gonna like what I'm doing, I'm gonna like roll up and put this piece on my keyboard because right now I am at my desk, my computer. So my keyboard little table making a purpose for me to hold down if I have a long diamond painting. And I already see in here kitty fur snack. Oh, as much as I try to keep it clean. Whew. The fur is everywhere, guys. It's so important not to get your pets close to diamond paint. And good thing it's a partial, so it wasn't stick to the glue. Okay, I'm going to bring you back close. And we will start from, let's see, find the camera there, that corner. Sometimes I'm just sitting thinking, how long will it take me to actually start to kind of chill about diamond painting and slow down in this kind of hobby? I don't know, not yet. I still love it strongly. It's very fun. And as um, me, I love to do puzzles. Uh, the like the hardest puzzles them better especially those they have a thousand pieces so if person I think like to do puzzles they did uh, this kind of mosaic diamond painting technique shouldn't bother those people because if you already like to work with little pieces and challenge yourself then of course this kind of craft it's a challenge because you have to create with such a tiny pieces okay this jump jump away from me I squeeze too much should we try a little bit with the pen and see how they're gonna go it's definitely easier and faster this is my watermelon pen Oh. Some fiber. They remind me, this drills remind me of little bugs that as a kid I used to when we do like dig out potatoes from the land and the shiny shiny box looks like this beads would sometimes I could find them they, not, not too often but 
I used to catch them because they were so pretty and shiny. So I was already shiny and thick since I was a kid. <laughs> but catch the shiny bugs. Shiny. And they were exact color as this one. Peacock color. It was a really, really pretty bug. I never see them in here in Canada. When I was little, I was like a boy. Oh my god, I climb on the trees, jump from the trees. Then afraid to go in the mud. Bigger puddle of water, I was there. <laughs> you know, the, the memory of childhood are so precious. Sometimes you just want to go back to your childhood time, at least for one hour, to be kid again and have fun with no electronic, no computers, no cell phones, just a bunch of friends having a fun. It's sad to see kids now only sit on the phones and playing with each other through the internet. It's sad. They don't think so because they don't know the difference. But our generation, we know how fun that was to play with actual friends outdoors. I know many of you agree with me. But in this world that right now, I even glad that my kids staying home and not to bother walking streets and get themselves into the trouble. So my kids are well behaved and respect others. When I diamond paint, I'm totally forgetting that I have like next to me a hot cup of coffee or a cup of tea. I even forgetting to eat. So I think diamond painting it's a good diet um, thing. <laughs> For people who wants to lose weight, I think it's a great great way to lose the weight because you forgetting to eat you are so addictive to this little tiny sparkle gems that you don't even want to think about food and I to be honest I never was big thing about food if I have my coffee in the morning I'm all good for the day junk. I'm still skinny because I, I control my weight um, or maybe I'm just lucky not to gain too much weight but if I would um, gain some weight a little bit I would start to work out a little bit more intense. I have a few, few machines at home for exercising. But so far, so good. I'm staying the same as I was 20 years ago. I don't change. Well, I change by owning a few wrinkles on my face that just sneak on me when I wasn't watching. I don't know when that happened. <laughs> Please knock on me or sneak on me. Man, my, my English are so bad. But I just glad they used to love me.
my little girl now, Catherine, she she actually tried to correct me now more often. She tell me if I say something wrong way, she would correct me. And uh, it's kind of <laughs> sad story that your child trying to teach you, right? But I mean, she's pure Canadian born here, so... Well, not pure Canadian, she has Ukrainian blood now, but, uh, you know, when you born here and you school and friends, you picking up right English. So now I speak the way I learn. So my English not correct. So she correct me now and I thankful for that. And I tell her, you know, uh, don't be shy to tell me something if I don't say something right please do so and, and if, if you have to repeat this few times then eventually I will remember like before I always say you know me and my little girl stuff like that so then I think my husband corrected me the proper way to say my little girl and I and for me, it was like very awkward because if I would translate this to Ukrainian language, that wouldn't be the same. Um, it would be kind of awkward uh, saying to put myself on a last place as I. So that's something he corrected me once and I remember now. Okay, where we are, right there. My video is almost up time. I will see you guys in my new video. This one video, I don't want to get too long. So, whatever it's finished, I will see you next time.